Hey there folks, John Nolan here with your PM update looking ahead to Friday's edition of the Times Leader. A Sawyersville man was arraigned on terroristic threat charges following a near three hour standoff early Thursday morning. Ed Lewis has that for us. The Luzerne Foundation honors its first community champions at the Westmoreland Club tonight. Margaret Rorty is going to be there. The Greater Nanticoke Area School Board approved a $1.1 million contract for replacement of high school doors. Mark Guidish explains that for us. And as you can see behind me, it's another day of dry weather and brush fires in the region. We'll let you know what to expect weather-wise for the coming days. Remember folks, if you're not already a subscriber, call 570-829-5000 or visit timesleader.com slash subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great night.